Hey everybody, this is Justin and I am the Code Star. Uh, this video is going to be all about object oriented programming and more specifically it's going to be about classes and how to make multiple classes into a single super object. Now you may be asking yourself what's a super object? And if you look at different programming styles, uh, generally when you work with classes or you work with objects, uh, when you when you create them, you do include classes base dot class dot php string cl equals new my class. But if you have any more, you have to do include classes dog dot class dot php string dog equals new dog. When you get about 10 or 15 of these it's real ugly and it has to be in every single file that is going to be running the site um, unless you include them in your index.php. Doing this method if I would have to do like string echo string cl some function and echo string dog some function. It's it's ugly, outdated old ways to do it. So I'm going to teach you how to make a super object where dog is going to be included into the base. And by doing this we will be able to do string cl dog doggy but we'll also be able to do string cat you can do this as much as you want as many classes as you want so let's get on with the show and start learning how to do this so we're gonna start off with this line include classes base.class.php so first off let's create our folder classes and then we'll create a file inside that class or inside that folder called base.class.php okay and for this php class my class we're going to create a public function construct and what this is is a construct is a special function that's called when the object is created and it's useful for doing any pre operations before we actually start to call the methods of that class and we're going to use this function but for now we're just going to create another function called cat and we're going to return the cat chase the mouse and I like to use returns at, in my classes I I never use echoes um, I would much rather leave the handling of the data to my index.php or whatever PHP it's being called from um, and that way it's not specifically set that it must echo out but it could be returned to a string uh, which could then in turn be turned into JSON to be turned back into um, JavaScript or jQuery um, and so I personally always use returns and so now we've got one more thing to do in here um, generally when you do your classes you know, like in your index.php you would do cl equals new my class I like to do it here in my base class so string cl equals new my class and the reason why I like to do it here is because say I've got you know 10 different pages on my site and they each have their own PHP file and then they're run off of switches um, all ten of those would have to have this 
string cl equals new my class in them. But what if I rename my class later? I then have to go to the each individual file and rename that. But if I do it here, I could do it just once. And this this kind of follows the dry pin principle of programming, which is don't repeat yourself. So now we've instantiated the class object here. And so now I should be able to go sh echo string cl cat. And if I come here and refresh, there we go. The cat chased a mouse. So this is the basic, uh, just a basic object. Nothing special. So now let's create a second class. We're going to call this dog.class.php. I always name my files .class.php if they're going to hold a class. Um, it's, it's a good naming convention. It helps me to see exactly what files are classes and what files aren't classes. And so we're going to create another class here, and it's going to be class dog. And we're going to do another public function construct. And in this file, I'm not going to be using it, but I always incorporate it just in case later on down the road in the life of this script, I might want to. But I am going to create a couple of functions here, and the first one is going to be doggy. And this is going to return the dog chased the cat. And I also want to create another function called puppy. Return the puppy slept in the corner. Okay, now we come back to our base class. And how we do this is we do this dog equals new dog. But we have to include it. So we include classes dog.class.php. Okay, so now this will work. So we can do echo and I want this on a new line, so we're going to echo a break line dot string cl dog doggy dot while cl dog puppy and now if I refresh we see that it works. The cat chased a mouse. The dog chased the cat while the puppy slept in the corner. That's basically all there is to it. And so you create your base object and then you just include the other objects here and you do this dog equals new dog and you do that for as many as there are. Now when you get 10, 15, maybe even more different classes, that becomes a pain in the butt to do. So what you would do then is create a create a function where you could do string this dog equals load class dog dot class and it would automatically include the file it would automatically uh, instantiate the class and then return it to this dog, allowing it to still work. And that is basically how you do it. So thank you for watching. Um, later in another video, we'll actually do the, the load class function just to show you how it's done. Um, and again, thank you for watching. If, As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, don't hesitate to leave me a message on the video or on my channel itself. If you have any requests, um, you can do that by doing the 
uh, filling out a comment on my channel or you can email me directly uh, a request by emailing it requests at thecodestar.com and that is again requests at thecodestar.com